The Harrisburg boys basketball team snapped a string of four straight losses with Tuesday's unlikely victory at second-ranked O'Gorman, while also ending the Knights' nine-game win streak. Tonight, the Tigers attempted to score another upset against number one Yankton. Opening quarter, the Bucks trail by two, but great ball movement leads to a Hunter Katros one-handed slam. Senior tallied 12 points and 11 rebounds. Second quarter, leading by two, Harrisburg swings the ball around the perimeter to Blaze Lubers, who tickles the twine three of his 14 points. Tigers lead 21-16. On the ensuing Yankton possession, Trevor Fitzgerald's floater won't go, but Matthew Moore's there for the putback and the foul. Moore's finished with a game-high 32 points, surpassing 2,000 career points, and now stands nine shy of Eric Klein's double-A scoring record as Yankton beats Harrisburg 62-43. Washington attempted to get back into the win column against Pierre. The Governors opened the game with four straight points, but Washington's Nate Gilbertson comes up with a steal and throws down a two-handed slam. He had eight points. On the near end of the floor, the Govs continue their strong start. Grant Judson gives to Paul Adam, who lets fly and hits from deep. He had 11 points, Pierre by five. But Washington warms up on offense. Gannon Thompson catches on the block, dribbles to the baseline, scores via the reverse. He had a team high 14 points. Washington picks up a 74-46 win over Pierre. Class A matchup featuring Del Rapids and Tri-Valley. First quarter, the Mustangs start strong. Owen Besmer grabs the inbounds pass and buries a corner triple. Tri-Valley leads 10-6. Second quarter, after grabbing the lead, the Quarriors add to their advantage. Colin Rentz finds Ramsey Heineke, who hits for three of his 11 points, part of a 17-3 run. Del Rapids by 10. Third quarter, Quarriors by 22, and they continue to sizzle. Drew Van Regen Mortar connects for two. Del Rapids rolls past Tri-Valley, 76-46.